Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I'm back with um, a hodgepodge of products that I'm trying out and to kind of do an update right now. And um, I'll go ahead and get started with what I have on right now. I have a lot on this desk, so if things go falling, yeah, it's because there's a hodgepodge of stuff. So um, I have the Elf Skin in. Um, this is in Sunbeam, and this is the 30 SPF. That's what I have on for my primer. The Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. I have this one in the 53 Warm. And I am actually going ahead and using lighting, um, my old lighting. Um, I wanted to kind of show how much the Bondi Sands really did um, change as far as my... Uh, it really took me a lot darker is what I'm trying to say. And this is a brand new product. It's over at Ulta. I got the Sapphire Cool Tone. And so this is a self-tanner. And so, yeah, I am a couple of shades darker right now. And I'm really enjoying the change. And then, um, let's see, what else did I go ahead and uh, put on? As far as bronzer and blush, I went ahead and used the Face Off. This is by Hard Candy. Uh, the, let's see, the bronzer I used in Sweet Tea, and then the blush in Who Is She? So that's what I have on today. And I did go ahead and top them. Oh, see, I told you things would start falling. And so I um, went ahead and used the Elf Halo Glow. This is the one in Magic Hour. And I went ahead and used that over the top as a blush topper. And I also went ahead and used the Revlon. Uh, this is their Daybreak highlighter, and I finally busted the packaging. If I miss it, the packaging, it means I really like the product. And so this is the one in Daylight. So that's what I have there. And then as far as the usual suspects, I went ahead and used the NYX Thicket Stick It and the Sky High by Maybelline. So this is Brow and this is Mascara. As far as the eye look today, um, I find myself, uh, and it's funny, I didn't think I would, but I keep on um, reaching for the Heavy Petal palette by ColourPop. And so, yeah, it's turning into a palette, yeah, that I like a lot. So um, I went ahead and used the rose color as in the crease. Right above that, I put the yellow. Um, I used this one on the inner corner. And then I used a combination of these two on the lid, this on the outer corner. And so I think, yeah, that's my look today. And the way, as far as how it turned out, and it's a very warm palette and a very light palette. And so for every day, yeah, it's working out really well. Uh, let's see, what else do I have on? Um, the Catrice Sungasm, again, I messed up the packaging on this. I used this as a finishing powder. It's a very glowy, very pink powder. And that's what I have on there. And then as far as my hodgepodge, I have some skincare here that I'm trying out that's new. Um, I went ahead and picked up some of the Versed over at Target. And I got the Daily Brightening Solution. It's a toner. And so I've been going ahead and using that. And actually, this is my newest purchase as far as skin care, so I've only been using that for a couple days so far. Uh, what I have been using for a couple weeks is some K-Beauty from Nisha, and this is the Time Revolution Night Repair Pro, 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 Probio, Amp, Ampule, Probio Ampule, and it's a probiotic and prebiotic serum. And it's very moisturizing. I'm using it at night. This one I've been using for almost a month, and I'd highly recommend it's on Amazon, especially if you're older and, you know, you're starting to deal with some of uh, older skin issues, yeah. Um, another one that I've mentioned before that I've really been liking is the Derma E Blue Light Shield um, Concentrated Serum. And this has uh, charcoal in it. It also has algae in it. Um, and as far as the detox for the face, using this about once a week, um, I'm really liking. I don't think it's a blue light shield. I, 
I don't really um, go for all that blue shield stuff, but as far as a detox, it's working really well. It has that charcoal in there, so it really cleans out your pores. Yeah, talking to me. Anyway, <clears throat> so um, another product that I have that I think is K-inspired, um, Korean-inspired, is the Skin Soak uh, Rich Moisture Cream. This by Burst it has red green algae in it, and um, I'm really liking it. It's very soothing, and it's very thick, so I'm liking this one a lot. I um, haven't had anything negative to say about any of the first products. Um, let's see, what else do I have here? I have a couple more things. Um, and so now we're heading into Temu. T-E-M-U, it's that new website. Um, it's probably about a year old by now, but I haven't been using it. Uh, what I'm wearing right now is a romper. And um, so it's a one-piece short set. And uh, I love it. It's from Timu. I just, um, it's newer. And the shorts actually go down to not quite the knee, but, you know, enough so that I can wear it out and um, not just have to wear it around the house kind of thing because it's too short to go out kind of thing. But um, I also got some other things from Timu. And so I picked up uh, some of their perfumes. This one is uh, based on Daisy, and uh, they have a couple of different variations because Daisy has a couple of different variations. And then I picked up one that's based on the replica Fireside, so I had these two, and so far I've been enjoying them. Um, I'm not really into perfumes, they just looked fun, and I had, you know, noticed some of the other ones, and if you want to go ahead and try something out without going ahead and purchasing the original, which is going to be pretty expensive, these are very expensive and they're on the Timu website. And so you can sort of try it out or try out something close to it before you go and buy the real thing. And um, sort of my thinking, but not really my thinking because um, again, I'm not really that much into perfumes and top notes and middle notes and all of that stuff. But um, I do, you know, like some scents. I have um, some of those, um, oh, what you call them, um, where you put in the oil and the diffusers. Yeah, I have some diffusers around, so I like those. Um, I did go ahead and pick up some of... Uh, well, this is from Floral Street, and this is a whole package that you can get that has, um, so you can try some of their scents. And um, I have one out right now, but these are candles, and so they're little tester candles, and you get, yeah, four in there. And they just, they're small. They look like this, but... They smell really good, and they're the same fragrance that some of their perfumes are. So like I said, it's just a little sample packet that I picked up over at QVC. And I've really been liking this. Let me go ahead and grab the perfume. It's actually perfume and candles, so I'll be right back. Okay, so um, over at QVC, I picked up the Floral Street, and um, it would be a really good gift for Mother's Day, but I think that you would probably have to get express shipping on it with it being this close to Mother's Day. But if you want to pick up something for yourself that's just fun, that you know you can try out some new things, um, the yeah, let's see, the perfume comes in here, and they're just little samples of the perfume. But it wasn't outrageously expensive, and you get five of these, and um, they're fun, and they come in cute little packaging. And I always love the Floral Street bottles, you know, when you go over to the, is it Sephora? I think it's Sephora that has this. And so um, Floral Street always does really fun packaging. So I th thought that that was fun. I did pick up another, um, <clears throat> of the Tenue um, perfumes. 
And these are all by different companies. So this one's by Gene Miss. And um, so I got in this one. It's supposed to be a replica of the Tom Ford Cherry one. So um, these bottles are all glass bottles. And so they're, they're nice. They're not something that you're going to want to hide away. You could definitely display these. So they're cool that way. And um, let's see, is there anything else that I have here? Again, these are bits and bobs that I had got that I'm really enjoying. And um, I think that's just about everything. And I hope that you have a great day. And see you later. Bye.